Welcome to Qt C++ GUI development for intermediate Qt developers. Qt is a mature cross-platform application development framework. You can use it to develop applications for Windows, Mac, Linux, mobile, and embedded devices. This course will teach you some of the advanced features of the Qt framework. So this is not a beginner's course. It is a follow-up course on my Qt C++ GUI development for beginners course so you should have completed that course or have similar experience from elsewhere. The course is packed with lots of tips and tricks to help you master what it takes to build professional GUI applications using C++ and Qt. The lectures are carefully designed and revolving around demos that are to the point and easy to understand, cutting down the fat and helping you understand a given topic at hand. This course is not just about theory and simple demos, no. We will do theory and simple demos because you need that to understand the basics. We will go even further and start building cool projects like what you see here. This is a water level monitoring system. It is a custom widget you will build from scratch. You will learn to build custom models and put together cool looking delegates like you see here. We will also use the graphics view framework to build cool looking games like Flappy Bird, where you will get a chance to practice most of the things you learned in this chapter. We will go even further and build a full fledged painting application using the Qt graphics view framework. This application will support writing with the pen, drawing all kinds of crazy shapes, filling them with different colors, resizing your shapes to make them look exactly the way you want. We will support undo, redo. We will be supporting drag and drop. You can drag and drop shapes onto the scene. We will do all kinds of crazy things. If this is not enough, this application will be able to run in different languages. You can see now it's running in Chinese, but we can also make it run in English by changing the language we want. Let's choose English here. We're going to hit OK. We're going to close the application. If we run it again, it's going to run in English. You see that here, this is English. We can also choose for the application to run in French. If we want, we're going to close and open the application again, and it's going to run in whatever language we support. This application will support English, French, and Chinese, but you can easily add other languages because we're going to learn about how you write international applications with Qt. These are some of the most interesting projects you get to build in this course, but there are even way, way more you get to build as you learn about different concepts about Qt development. Let's take a closer look at the contents of this course. We open the course by looking at different ways you can handle events in your Qt application. We will do demos to play with different kinds of events. We will learn about event propagation, and we will see different ways you can handle events in your Qt applications. After that, you will get a chance to learn about how you can build your own custom widgets. You will learn about different approaches you can use to put together something of your own. We will move on and learn about painting and drawing using Qt. We will learn about the QPainter API. You will see things like coordinate systems, drawing shapes, different kinds of pens and brushes you can use. And we will do a few demos to help you understand the concepts. We will do a painting application using the QPainter API and you will see how cool this is. After that, we will learn about drag and drop and clipboard. You will learn about how you can support drag and drop in your Qt widget applications. We will move on and learn about the model view architecture. We will look at predefined widgets like QList widget, QTable widget, and QTree widget. You will learn about a few predefined models you can use in your application. After that, you'll see how you can build your own custom models from scratch. We will do read-only models and full-fledged editable list, table, and tree models. And we will look at custom delegates and how you can use them to make your data show better in your view classes. We will learn about the graphics view framework and we will learn all kinds of crazy things. You will learn about Q graphics view, Q graphics scene, and Q graphics items. You will learn about event propagation, parent child relationship, and we will have a chance to do cool demos in this chapter to build games and painting applications like you just saw. After that, we will move on and make our painting application even better. We will reorganize its user interface to make it look better. We will make it support two cursors, copy, cut, and paste. It will support saving and loading documents, and we will make it support undo, redo to make it more user-friendly. 
You will learn about how you can write international applications using Qt. Here we will have a chance to make our painting application run in different languages. We will make it support English, French, and Chinese. And finally, we will see how you can deploy your Qt applications on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Qt is the platform of choice for thousands of software projects both open source and commercial, including the one I'm using to record this video right now. If you want to use C++ and Qt to build professional-grade GUI applications that can run virtually on any platform out there, Qt is second to none in that regard. Please check out some of the preview videos and let's get you started building professional C++ GUI applications using Qt.